Hi, let's talk about multi-area OSPF and the different types of routers that we have within the multi-area SPF. Let's look at this diagram. We've got three separate areas, area one, area zero, and area 51. There's four different types of routers that we see here. First of all, we've got internal routers. The internal routers are the routers within a specific area. For example, here in area one, this is an internal router, this, this, this. Those are the four internal routers of area one. Area zero has two internal routers and area 51 has four internal routers. So in addition to internal routers, we have backbone routers. Backbone routers are all of the routers that exist in area zero. So that's going to include these two internal routers as well as these two routers because they still interface within to area zero. Yes, they do have interfaces in exterior areas as well, but that's okay. So those four are all considered backbone routers. So we've got internal routers, we've got backbone routers. Now we've also got area border routers or ABRs. So area border routers are those routers between areas. So for example, R1 and R2 are both ABRs. Now our last type of router is an autonomous system border router or ASBR, and that's any router that interfaces to an external OSPF area. So these are still all internal OSPF areas. They're all in the same multi-area OSPF. But this router here, R1, that interfaces to the internet, which is no longer within the multi-area OSPF. So that makes it an ASBR.